Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are playing Planet Zoo, Amelia Zoo number 18. We are going to jump straight into this video. We are building with using the Barnyard Pack, the new DLC that came out. We are done with our other areas right now that we've been working on in our Amelia Zoo, having just finished up our foresty, mountainy area. And so now we get to use this cool new DLC, which I just absolutely am just in love with so far. Uh, but it's not that surprising, be considering I do like Harvest Moon and like Stardew Valley and stuff like that. Uh, so right now what we're doing is we are just putting in some cornfields to mark our entry. I'm uh, going to try to use that big sign and I'm just making kind of like a new way in and then just trying to find the perfect, perfect, perfect way to do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to try to talk through most of this. I may kind of stop every now and again just because, let's face it, I can't always talk. Oh, yeah, and that sign was way too big. So we decided not to use that. And then I was trying to find a new sign to use. And I was like, maybe this one. And then I kind of played around with it just like being right here. Like, oh, maybe it'll just like lead in. Uh, and then ultimately kind of adjusted everything and ultimately decided to get rid of that sign. I'm just making that entry into the new zone. making sure it's even and makes sense the way it's placed. And then just as a heads up, I do have dogs. Um, they may bark. They are kind of noisy little dogs. And so I apologize ahead of time if they do bark during this. Um, I may not be able to cut it out, um, but maybe I will. So we'll find out. But hopefully it won't happen. They managed not to bark mostly through my voiceovers. They seem to not care, <laughs> but you never know. And then we're just continuing. We're making just like a little plaza here with the new plan in place. And I, you guys, I really do love how, how many pieces are in this and like, uh, just so inspiring. Get this new wicked, whoa, wicked, <laughs> white picket fence in and just make that, make it look real farmy. Even it out. Now, I know some people were not too thrilled about this new DLC. They were like, I really just want zoo animals, not like farm animals. And that is super valid. Um, this is a zoo game, you know? Planet Zoo, after all. But, you know, a lot of parks and parks. Oh, I am fumbling over my words today. A lot of zoos actually do have little petting zoos in them with little farm animals. And I think like realistically in like the the way most areas work, like if you're looking at like, oh, you're wanting it wild and, and free kind of looking and stuff like that. But like realistically and, and sadly, there is a lot of people areas that have encroached on the wild areas. And a lot of them are farms, you know, they're with lots of cattle or they're growing things and they've taken over the spaces. And so I think in reality, like it isn't that far fetched to have like farmland involved in these wild spaces and just being able to show that they can work together. There is a way to make it where people and wildlife can coexist in a, in a good way. And of course, you know, and that's controversial in itself, but I mean, it is true. Like, we he are here too, and so are the animals. And we have to learn how to figure it out and work together and, and share this big old earth, you know? And it's just, you know, it's tricky. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, we're building basically a ginormous barn right now. And it is going to be a lot of wood because I like the wood colors. I don't like the idea of like a bright red and white barn. I don't, I feel like that would just really clash with a lot of what I've done. Um, this is kind of encompassing different building styles that have been going on in the park. And these are just like supposed to be like rafters. 
And then these would be the areas where people can walk through and actually look into the barn and see the different areas of the, the different uh, enclosures in the barn. Cause you know, they're kind of, they are going to be kind of small. Um, I was going to do it through the middle there and then I changed my mind. And then they can of course see through here. I was very inspired building <laughs> you guys. Uh, I was like, yes, I love this. And you know, just going for it. I'm looking for a sign. Settle on this one. Welcome to the barnyard, it says. I'm just kind of playing with it, making it kind of match so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. And then I had a lot of fun with this one, but you know what? I, I um, figured out later that I didn't actually have the Highland Cow on here. And I don't know if we have a sticker for it. Actually, I think I just now saw it. But I didn't add the Highland Cow because um, I just, I forgot, to be honest. But that's okay. Um, it, you know, the Highland Cow is not going to necessarily be in this barn. So that's okay, too. I mean, not that the chicken is, but you, which you'll see later. And I had a little funkiness with this stuff, was kind of poking through. And then I decided that I was going to do four areas. And then do some beams. But I wanted them to match that uh, kind of off brown. or You know, the, the brown that's in the beams and stuff. So we're not using too many different kinds of browns. <laughs> so I was searching, searching, searching for like a painted wood, which I finally found. Which was exciting for me because it took, it took a minute to find. Then I was playing with the idea of doing like like cross beams here, but that was like eh, maybe not. I don't know if that's what they're called, but it was like I was gonna do like the little V's and stuff, and it just it didn't didn't work out. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, let's see. So, and then I had a little uh, issues with the roof. Um, I wanted these, and then I couldn't find them in flat. And so then I changed them out and then I found them in flat. <laughs> so here I am searching for them in flat. And I was like, where is it? I was like, okay, fine. I'll change it. And then I didn't like what my options were. And then I found flat. Because <laughs> I kind of like the rusty look with the browns. And then it was like, it wasn't snapping, which was annoying because usually they snap. But it was like, okay, fine. And then I decided it was a little too dark. So I wanted to do some skylights. Which I know is super realistic for barns. <laughs> but, you know, maybe it's like more like the metal is like, you know, rusty or something and showing through. Or I don't know. Another sign on the back. Or front, whichever way this is being approached. Uh, cause you know, the goal, the goal is that like the zoo is going to be approachable from all er areas, right? You're just going to be able to wander all the way through. Anyway, it's just kind of doing a quick little tour through and it just looks so cute to me. Uh, it definitely looks like a barn. Definitely looks nice to me using these new benches. You're going to see me use like just a ton of the new stuff. Cause it's just like, I'm like, yes. And then I end up going back to some older stuff, which I think looks nice too. Get some plants going so that they break up the, the wood. And then we're going to go ahead and start in with some more fencing here. And I mean, ultimately, it's still a zoo, right? These are still habitats. They're still for big animals, you know, or, or you know, medium-sized animals. Except for the chicken, which is like super small and cute. Um, so here we're just getting a path because the idea is that we're going to do kind of like a walkthrough of the zoo or I mean the barnyard. And then just, you know, making it look cute. You know, I was really disappointed. I don't know if you guys saw the, uh, the video for the DLC, um, for this, the barnyard. They had these uh beautiful beautiful stone walls 
And I hoped and hoped and hoped that they would be uh, like an actual new fence. Like I was like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. But like, you know, people were, who got early access to it were reviewing it and it wasn't on there, but I still hoped, I was still hopeful and it just, nope, nope. You know, you gotta make it yourself. And I just so sad that that was the case. Uh, let's see here. So a little pause here. I probably got distracted by something. I get distracted a lot while I'm playing. So I do apologize for that. Let's see. And then we're going to figure this out. Here we go. And then, you know me, I can't make it even the right first time. So <laughs> it gets a little wonky, but it still looks good, which is the goal. And then we, uh, we adjust it a lot as we go. And I was like, oh, that's a little long. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, here's some blank spaces. Let's do some more plazas. And then we're going to make this look nicer. Because I like the dirt path, but it kind of like it's incomplete sometimes. Like when you do it, it's like not all the way filled in. And it's kind of sparse. Uh, so we're just kind of making it look nicer here. Adding some dirt. I find dirt, like dirt and the sand is a good combo, of course. And it just kind of makes it look a little bit more worn out and used. You know, it's just not one dimension. It takes a little time, but it, I, th I think it, it's worth it in the end. And then like a little, little bit in the middle there too, a little splattering. See, it doesn't that look so much better. I love it. I can't remember if I asked you guys, but you know, I would like to know your opinion on the barnyard one. Uh, were you excited about it? Were you not excited about it? Were you just meh about it? Uh, did you buy it? Uh, cause a lot, I hear a lot of people who just planned on not buying it, uh, just because it wasn't what they were hoping for and wanting. And as I said before, I, I definitely <laughs> was excited about it. Obviously I'm using it. I bought it, filming it, having a good time with it. And totally inspired by it. Now this was fun, this part here. Let's see. So we're making a lower fence here. And this is going to be a habitat. Whoop, another pause. <laughs> you know, they're going to happen. Um, I, I, I got a lot going on around me a lot of the time. I have my family running around, and my dogs, and... You know, and sometimes I'm watching TV at the same time as I'm playing. And it's just... You know, because I'm on my laptop and, you know, in my living room and I have the TV on and I get distracted. And here's another pause, <laughs> another distraction. Uh, sometimes I am just thinking, sometimes I am actually doing something else. I might be eating or drinking or doing something that I has caused me to pause. This is a long one, though. <laughs> uh, we're, and then we're off. We're continuing again. And then we're just finishing up our fences. Making that null barrier, which I love. I am definitely a fan of the null barrier just because it gives you so much more freedom. Not a fan of the gate being there, but you know, sometimes you just have to take the hit. Making a little, little hill here. Prepping it. And then we are making a chicken coop. Uh, it turns out really cute, actually. I'm really happy with how this chicken coop turned out. and I hope you guys like it, too. So we'll see. <laughs> uh, let's see. So just prepping it, making the little ramp, making sure it's not too steep for our chickens. I gotta say, I think I was the most excited about the chickens and the Highland cow. Uh, although the, um, the alpaca look really cute, too. I haven't really looked at them. And I like the, like, it looks like there's new animations for the pigs. Um, and I'm kind of curious to see what they look like. But but overall, I was really excited about the chickens. I was like, ah, I'm going to make a chicken coop. And other people have been making chicken coops, obviously. It's, it's a thing to do right now. But they all look different. And they all have different inspiration on them. And I think it's really cool to see the different kinds. We're just chugging along, just building, building, building. And so they can't actually use that, but I know in like a lot of chicken coops, they actually have like 
or they can jump up on like a ledge. And so that's kind of what that's supposed to be. And then it was poking out, <laughs> uh, which was annoying. But, you know, sometimes you got to take the hit and you're just like, you know what? It is, <laughs> it is what it is. And so it was like, at least we can make it even. So it did that, kind of hit it on the backside. And the roof. And I made it a little too big there and I changed my mind. And then I decided to put windows on it because I thought it looked better. Then I was having a hard time keeping them even. Finish out the roof. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that already so cute? And it gets only better, you guys. <laughs> and then I wanted the little weather main on there. I had to make sure it was perfect. Get up close. Little planter. Making sure everything's good. And then I realized these were tilted real bad. So fix those. Make our little ramp. You know, I was initially going to do like stairs, uh, but I figured out doing the ramp was maybe a little bit better. And you know, it, it wasn't quite perfect right straight away, but that's okay. We can fix it. Everything's fixable. You know, just give yourself some time and grace and just realize that it's going to be okay. You know, and sometimes you got to walk away and come back at it. Anyway, I added little wheels because I kind of wanted it to look like a cart. Uh, Cause you know they have those mobile ones sometimes where it's like the chickens are actually hauled around in them, and they're little chicken coops, and then they're taken to different areas, and then they're able to do their thing. And that's that was kind of my uh, my idea on this one, but I think it just looks so cute. <laughs> and then you know some fencing, you know, so if they do need to be kind of in inside of like a smaller enclosure you know that they can have that and then like have a roof over it you know protect them from predatory birds um and i guess the idea is that they probably would have a gate too that they could just totally close off but i didn't do that um get down some of the like bark chip looking scenery there groundwork and like this was uneven it was weird i couldn't like figure it out for the life of me so I just kind of ended up leaving it uneven. Uh, anyway, doing some terrain work, getting it prepped. And then we're going to get our beautiful chickens in. we got to wait for them. And so while we wait for them, we're going to go ahead and build some more. Because realistically, all of our staffing stuff is really far away. Now, typically, if you were doing franchise mode or challenge mode, you wouldn't be able to do these buildings so close. Um, but because I am in uh, sandbox mode and it is turned off where that's a problem, I can build them anywhere. So I like to make them kind of look like they're a part of the scenery. And I feel like, and, and I've heard other people say this too, I feel like if I was like an actual guest at a zoo, I wouldn't mind seeing the staff buildings necessarily, especially with the windows, like, except for like the staff room, like that would be weird, but like seeing the veterinary ones or seeing them prep the, um, the food for the animals and stuff is really cool. You know, I think that would be really neat, but you know, and, but, but, <laughs> but, 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 but in the game, typically they have this guest have very negative emotions and feelings towards the the staff buildings and so that's that's a problem but not in free mode if you turn it off so and it's off get to see I'm, I'm sticking with the similar stuff and just getting some pillars going on here to kind of break up the wood make it look nicer Kind of between the houses or the houses, the buildings, the doors, the windows. And then we, of course, want it to look similar on the backside. I think a lot of times uh, people do forget to do like to decorate the backside of buildings, especially when it's like, you know, kind of up against something because you kind of like figure out oh, no one's going to really see it. I'm not even going to really see it. 
But like you kind of want to make sure that you are fixing it too, because what if you do? <laughs> what if you take that out and then it's like, oh man, I gotta redo the building. And you know, it kind of uh, like I said before um, in another video is I'm kind of a completionist, so I'm kind of I want to get it done uh, and I want it to be nice and I want it to look well complete. And so one of the things is like. I don't want to have to come back and edit this building again. Uh, I would, you know, I, I would do it if I needed to, but I would prefer not to. I want it one and done. Anyway, here <laughs> we're doing uh, just like a little roof kind of, you know, it kind of looks a little westerny to me, um, which I don't hate. Um, and I was trying to get in these here, but they just, you know, they kind of didn't really fit. <laughs> um, I'm rambling and I apologize. Let's see. Let's get some more fencing. And then I had a little hard time with the fencing because like I didn't know which side I should pull out because like the one side has like the bars where they're attached to and then one side doesn't has the picket side that which is the side we're looking at right now. And so I was like, which side does it go on? <laughs> so I was like, which way is backwards? Which way is forwards with this? And I don't know. Anyway, just doing some prettying up now, balancing out some stuff, and getting it pulled together. A little bit of a pause there, I was thinking. Let's get some trees. And I kind of wanted not like massive trees, because uh, I wanted to. I wanted to look tame. You know, I wanted to look um, maintenance. I don't want it to look like out of control. If that makes sense. And so like these trees are good. I think they're the ones that came actually with the new DLC. Like I said, I'm going to basically use every inch of this uh, barnyard with the DLC. And then here we're going to do kind of like a little like area for food and drink. Uh, I decided to do like bakery and like stuff like that. And then I'm looking for the new picnic tables because, you know, I got to I got to use the good stuff. Get some little little umbrellas there, trashes up and. Make it match. Chugging along. I think that looks really nice. Let's see if we can add more stuff here. Just some trees, kind of make it look like a little bit isolated in there, like it's just like a little nook. And then let's get our chickens in. We hadn't been on play just because we needed to get the staff area in there. And then we're just going to, while we wait for the chickens, we're going to go ahead and start doing more fencing here. It does get a little wonky. I'm not really sure where I was kind of going with this. Uh, it kind of turned out small, but it did turn out good in the end. Oh, here comes the chickens. So exciting. There they are. Oh my gosh. They're so good. Look at Ron. <laughs> and then now we can see what they like um, and then just get them set up they're so cute oh my gosh I wish I could have chickens in real life but I don't have the patience for it I have three little dogs and that's about all I can handle <laughs> well and an 11 year old daughter <laughs> I know I know it only gets worse but you know she's fantastic but it, she's She's a handful too, because I swear she's like 11 going on 16, but love her to pieces. Uh, so now we're just doing the greenery here, getting it all taken care of, making it look lush, but not like overly. I think I overdid it, to be honest, a little bit, but I really like how it turned out. Look at her run. Look at <laughs> uh, Let's get some rocks so they can climb and jump from them, um, have a little bit more interesting things going on now I do know that we can do interactions with guests now look at them all coming in however uh, I I in the past historically have not enjoyed that like where the guests can just enter the habitats 
uh, because they crowd it. It just gets so crowded so fast and it's just like, it's not great. And so like, I don't really enjoy it. Um, I feel like the animals get really stressed out and it just doesn't look, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like healthy. Like, it, you know, it doesn't look healthy. Like I, if I was the animals, I wouldn't want people creeping in on me. Okay. So like, I feel like they deserve their space and their privacy is somewhat privacy. Of course, there's not absolute privacy, but they deserve to have that peace, you know, where they don't have to be crowded with people. And I know that's, you know, like, well, it's just a game, but like, I don't know. I try to make it realistic. And so that's kind of where I'm at with it. And so I, you know, I just didn't make it to where they could enter, which I think is fine. I think everybody can do their own thing. Anyway, this is for the goats. <laughs> uh, and you know, gosh, look how great that chicken coop looks. I wouldn't mind living there if I was a chicken. And then uh, I was getting some overcrowding messages and stuff. And so I was kind of tending to that and trying to make sure everybody's good. So we're just waiting. Here comes the goats. Now, um, I did overdo it with the goats. The space is small. And so I actually ended up having to sell some, uh, which you're going to see here in a minute. And I just flooded this, this area <laughs> with the, the hay. Uh, anyway, getting, getting their stuff. Usually I would do the trees, but I feel like because this is like a controlled situation, that it would be the actual pillar for the scratching post. And then I discovered they have this little cell button now, uh, which is interesting. Uh, and the, the other like regular animals don't have that. So I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, just decking them out here, giving them their, their foliage. And I wanted them to have a tree, but not like massive trees. Cause like I said, it's more controlled. Um, and this is actually about the end here. We're going to go and watch some, some animals now as we do checking out the animals. Look at these chickens and it is still on fast mode. So they're going to move pretty quick. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching and listening to me ramble on and watching me build. And I hope you're inspired and you know, the next time we're going to still be working on the barnyard. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know in comments, please subscribe and like the video if you have the time and you know, I hope you're having a great day, night or whatever time it is for you. Bye.